Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of cockroaches. Cockroaches are problematic and they will come around if they can find a meal. So the first thing to do is get rid of whatever meal they have. Make sure you clean up very thoroughly. But even when you clean up thoroughly, you still may have an issue because cockroaches have the ability to find food when you didn't even think that there was food available. So, you'll have to use additional methods other than just cleaning up. And one of the methods that I found that works really well, if not the best, is using liquid roach bait. This right here is made by Hotshot and it's called Ultra Liquid Roach Bait. It kills roaches and the eggs that they carry. So, and it kills both large and small cockroaches and it kills them where they breed. And it shows in the diagram how it works. The roaches will crawl into this hotshot ultra liquid roach bait and eat it. And it will travel towards the eggs that it's carrying and eliminate them and the roach cockroach itself. So this particular liquid roach bait right here, a few of them come in here and you can see on the back, I'm going to go over the instructions on how to actually use this product to eliminate the roach cockroach problem that you're having. And it also talks on here how it works. It says the roaches enter the home in search of water and are most often found near water sources such as the kitchen and the bathroom. So if you've ever noticed roaches around the sink or in the bathroom, it's because they're thirsty. And perhaps maybe they're coming into your household because they just need a drink. Now, it's because the roach can live for about a month without food, but can only survive seven days without water. So this bait that we're having, the liquid roach bait, is extremely attractive to roaches because it combines an attractive food source with the water source they need, delivering a lethal dose quickly. So this is why the liquid roach bait traps are the best and I'm going to open this up and show you what they look like and what makes them the best because they have liquid and food all in one serves both sources so the roaches are like I can knock out two birds with one stone but the only bird that's being knocked out is the cockroach itself. Now the directions for use and I'm going to go over this I'm going to go ahead and open this up right away. Here they are. I'm going to pull one of them out so we can go over the instructions. So here is what one of them looks like. And it says right here, directions for use, pull the tab on the side of the bait station to break the seal on the vial containing. So it's showing you right here. And I'm going to demonstrate it. It's saying basically pull this to expose it. But from my experience, it's better to take this cover off and then pull the, this part off right here. You see what I just did there? Okay, so place that to the side. And so now we have this exposed. And what I do is simply place this back on. But before I do, you can see at the top right here that the bait is exposed. Now this right here, the liquid, do not touch it. I actually think that you should use gloves before handling this, but for the video purpose, I'm not using that. So you pull that off and then you have the exposed water source right here and food source for the roaches to consume before they go on to the next life. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here and like I said, once you remove the tab, it's a good idea just to place the safety cap on top, just like that. And place the bait stations where roaches have been seen or in an out of the way 
places near walls, in cabinets, under sinks, and refrigerators, and in closets. Place up to five bait stations in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. Heavily infested areas may require additional bait stations. Examine bait sta stations once per month to verify that the bait is still present in the station. Replace the bait station every three months. So after every three months, you're going to need to replace this. And the one thing that I like about the liquid bait stations is that you can actually see the liquid, how much bait is actually left in there. So you can be a master at... Wait, wait a minute. So, bait stations, right here, you can see that there is liquid left in there. And so you can tell when this needs to be replaced. So you can tell when the bait station needs to be replaced, okay? And so, once you've pulled the tab and you put the cap back on, you place it in one of the areas, and it's showing corners, but in closet. But from my knowledge, it's best to place the bait stations around the water sources, such as around the bathroom sink, near the toilet and bathtub, and the kitchen sink. But it's important to note that these right here are very good bait stations, and you can use this in multiple places. But there are some cautions that you need to understand when using this as you don't want to as you don't want to expose these to dogs or children, so you have to keep them out of the way to where dogs, cats, children can be exposed. And don't use these near um, where you're cooking. So these are the bait stations what we learned. Keep them in areas where you've seen roaches. Keep them away from areas where children and pets frequent and perhaps can get into it. Wash your hands after using these. And always, and I suggest using gloves when using these as well. Because you don't want any cross-contamination. And after you've done using them, make sure that you've washed your hands thoroughly. So these are the liquid ultra roach bait stations that really do a good job at getting rid of cockroaches. Kills roaches where they breed. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.